We've become more than ever aware, particularly as the science really becomes available to us, that we have some enormous challenges that we're going to have to deal with uh, as a species, that we're going to have to deal with as policy makers, as business leaders, and the reality is that we know more than ever before that we, no one can tackle these on their own. I think the important thing about the master's programme that we have developed and has been running now for four years is that it focuses very particularly on the kind of leadership that we need to deal with sustainability challenges. And what we're trying to do is to help leaders and future leaders understand just how to navigate your way through what sometimes seems like a very intractable set of problems. The course is very much about looking at the integration and, and the business case for responding to global challenges and the opportunities that that presents for the private and the policy sector. We have in mind busy professionals that have many demands on their time, so we've tried to put together a programme that takes this into account while maintaining the um, academic rigour that's expected of the University of Cambridge. And the way we've achieved this is by blending a combination of residential time in Cambridge with um, some e-learning and other forms of um, maintaining the academic program. A key feature of the program is in fact peer learning, where we encourage the students to learn from one another as much as they are able to learn from us. So most people will do their assignments and often their dissertation on topics that are directly related to the work that they're doing with their company support. So it's a huge advantage to the companies. They're basically almost getting free consulting, if you like. Being part of the University of Cambridge means that we have access to an enormous variety of resources. Uh, there's a, a wide range of sustainability research happening across the university, uh, particularly in design technology, but also in climate science, organisational strategy, innovation, industrial processes, sociology. Uh, and as CPSL, we're able to tap into that uh, fantastic resource so that participants can benefit from that. Um, alongside that, we have a, a fabulous network uh, all across the world uh, of thought leaders from business, uh, the policy, uh, NGO background, and the real um, value of the programme is bringing uh, those folk together with academics to provide a really rich and insightful resource. I think the tutors are a really key part of the success of the MST programme because we're really the, the primary point of contact for the students, particularly in their first year, and we guide them through two individual assignments and a group assignment. In the second year of the MST, the students do a, a dissertation which allows them to get in much more depth into their, into their topic and into their organisation. And so there's often really fantastic business outcomes. Often the students, even their initial assignments in their first year, as well as their dissertations, do get implemented in practice and really do actually make a change for sustainability. Even though our students are only in Cambridge for relatively short periods, we do try and give them a full exposure to the Cambridge student life. They, like all postgraduate students at the university, become a member of a college. To further enhance this experience, we um, arrange a variety of complementary or optional dinners and excursions to um, colleges that the students can enjoy during their time with us. To give people a week in a place like, particularly in a place like Cambridge, where, which is more reflective, to think, to have conversations with other people from other places that might make them think in a different way. Business is a really important player in tackling many of these challenges, but we also have, I think, in the business community, some of the best and the brightest talents, some of the greatest resources. We have people who really can make a difference, and what we need to do is to help businesses see that it's not just um, necessary for business to do it, but actually in their interests.